Hi Pisces and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. This is for May 27th through June 2nd, 2019. I'm going to start your reading off by pulling a card for overall energy and then I'm going to pull a card for advice and we will build your reading from there. So Pisces, let's see what is coming out for you. Okay, oh Pisces, look at that, the stars, written in the stars, so there is an element of destiny to your week this week, and in saying that, that could mean so many different things, okay? Um, you could really be in contemplation mode about, you know, where's what are the next steps on your journey, where are you headed, what are your dreams six months, a year, five years from now, others of you this is um, perhaps some sort of opportunity that is coming your way this week. And Pisces, I really feel it's meant for you with this card being the overall energy. Um, however, this is general, so you could really be in contemplation mode. Is this the right move, the right choice for me? So Pisces, let's pull some more cards and see what comes out. All right, moving on. The root of suffering is attachment. Okay, Pisces, um, this right here, there's some big change that has to take place inside of you or in your life um, for whatever this is. It's like you've got to move on. Do you, do you have to move on from an older version of yourself? Do you have to move on from a certain set of people? Do you have to um, move on from a job? Do you have to move on from a friend? Do you have to move on from a like an old idea or belief about something? Pisces, uh, there is something that you are holding on to that is causing you heartache and pain on some level. And um, we've got to let that go to move into the star's energy, okay? It's like whatever must be released for you to move ahead, do it. Um, it could be, do you need to forgive? You know, do you need to change your belief system? Do you need to leave certain people behind? There's a hundred different scenarios of what that could be for you personally but I just want you to take it to heart and really consider what it is you need to let go of um, transform into move on from to come into your destiny to fulfill your highest potential so let's pull some dice Pisces all right so we have the king of cups we have the Knight of Wands, and we have the Two of Cups. Okay, Pisces, yeah. Um, this could represent you, or this could uh, represent another water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, also, a fire sign could be involved in this, uh, Aries, Leo, Sag. Now, what I see here is this, yeah, because look at temperance sitting right on top of that uh, knight of wands very well could be a sag so uh pisces listen i see some sort of opportunity um being presented to you um it, this could be like let's get together and brainstorm let's get together um and work on this project let's here's this opportunity pisces will you are you interested in doing this work are you interested in um because i i feel like this is more than like a job for some of you this isn't just like hey you know do you want to come work for my company pisces this for some of you um this it's like you and another person coming together with some sort of idea because we have water and fire here okay um, it could be you and several people but it's like you're coming together for an idea that's attached to some long term okay with the stars here however we've got to leave something behind 
um, in order for this idea to work. And it looks very promising, especially with that Nine of Wands. There's a burst of energy that comes in, a lot of creativity, a lot of ideas, um, you know, that come into your world. You and another person or you and several people coming together to collaborate, to brainstorm, to come up with like a, an idea, a plan, a solution. Um, maybe some of you guys are trying to I mean, this could even be where you're wanting to throw like a family reunion or something along those lines. It's like a, a coming together of energies for Pisces. So. Okay, we've got the High Priestess. She's sitting right on top of that uh, King of Cups. We have the Page of Cups. And we have, yeah, look at that, man, the Three of Pentacles, Pisces, this yeah, definitely like a coming together of energies for you. Um, and I'll just go through like scenarios of what I'm trying to articulate that I'm struggling my buns off to get out. This could be you're in somebody's wedding, um, planning a family reunion, planning some big like family or friend trip, uh, something in the workplace, being on like uh, employee committee, planning fun events. Um, this could be you and people coming together to share your artistic abilities, creative talents. Um, some of you, this could be something to do with spirituality and um, coming together and collaborating along those lines with the High Priestess here, okay? Because with the Three of Pentacles, that is collaboration. That is coming together. That sits on top of that Two of Cups. So I feel it's like you and another person or you and several people coming together for the greater good, a cause, um, a goal, some achievement that you guys want to um, work on here. And with the Page of Cups, this is brand new. It's heart-based, it's soul-based, and it sits on top of that um, that night. So again, it's, man, it's like uh, this fire energy, water energy, water energy, water energy. So very strong water energies and a little snip of fire. Okay, let's see. Wow, Pisces. Okay, uh, Will of Fortune. That right there seals the whole reading for me. Destiny, your highest potential, Will of Fortune. Yes, confirmation, and it is time, Pisces. It is time. And what is next? We've got the lovers. That's even better. That's that's great. And look at this. We have the Two of Wands. Now, some of you, um, I don't do romance in the weeklies just because a lot of people don't come to the weeklies for that and get very upset by it which I totally understand but I will say this Pisces just because of these dice some of you this is about a romance and um you've either got to walk away from something from the past or you got to walk away from old energy for this situation to work because right now this week there's new energy coming in to this relationship so um, it's time and this could be like we're finding out we're pregnant we're um, getting married or engaged like we're going to the we're taking things to the next level we're getting committed we're moving into a house it's like something like that Pisces big deal in romance for some of you now for the rest of you uh, the main thing here again is I do feel like this is a coming together. We could be celebrating a birth. We could be like planning a huge party for like a first birthday or um, somebody's like 20 year, 50 year anniversary. Like, I don't know. There's a hundred different scenarios of what we're coming together to do and to be. And, um, you know, what I could tell you is that it's a very heart based. Okay. It's a lot of emotion involved definitely involves more than one person. It's like a collaboration. Some of you, I do feel like this is spiritual. Others of you, this is romantic or has a lot to do with family. Um, again, others of you with this Three of Pentacles, this is work or uh, your schooling, advancing your education, and you're partnering up with somebody. Like at the end of the day, Pisces, no matter what this is for you, you are coming together with another person or like two other people. Definitely one 
maybe two to make it three could be more than that but one or two very strong which would make it like a little trio like a the two turns into a three somehow so that's why I also say some of you this can involve a baby um, you know finding out somebody that you know is pregnant this week and um, with all of this it's very exciting news this isn't like oh my god that's the worst thing ever or, or unwanted unplanned no it's not this is happiness this is celebration this is excitement this is let's come together and uh, rejoice and uh, yeah Pisces this is all good stuff and um, if you want to look at people specifically there are like um, at least potentially four very strongly um, three two with the high priestess and the king of cups and then this night here so that's three and potentially a fourth person so when we're um, coming together for like uh, some sort of project whether in the workplace um, with friends a hobby on the side whatever you're having a coming together this week and we're we're building concrete plans for the future with the will of fortune here like it's time it's destiny it's written in your stars it's part of your life journey pisces and it's like two turns into three or four somehow some way so let's um let's pull some more cards pisces Okay, so we have eat better, which is ultimately taking better care of yourself this week than you have been. We have good talk. We have watching. We have waiting. And we have you must decide. Okay, Pisces, yeah. Um, I think if you're being asked to join something, it's because people have been watching um, somebody's impressed with you, okay? Um, if you are being asked to join and become a part of something, it's because somebody's very impressed with you. Others of you, this baby thing is showing right back up again um, with the eat better and the waiting. Um, I Good talk. Yeah, there's some excitement um, about a baby coming into the picture here for you guys some of you um with you must decide whatever this coming together is like this at work um personal life just whatever um you pisces you're a little bit on the fence okay and i see that up there too with moving on there's again only you know what it is that you're having reservations about you're not wanting to let go of um, you need to shift out of only you know that and spirit saying like you've got to truly decide um, mind heart and soul like we've got to be in sync down down the line um, to come into this you've there's something that you've got to let go of and walk away from and it doesn't have to be all tragedy okay it could just be your belief system something in your belief system or the way you wanted something to happen and work out or it could be that you're going to work with some people that maybe um, you didn't you don't know or you don't want to I don't know it's just Pisces there's something that you've got to let go of to move into this potential and trust me this is worth it like whatever you're holding on to or don't want to let go of man sweep it away get it out of your life because this is some good stuff and spirit saying this is your destiny and you're seeing signs and you're seeing synchronicities eat better um, some of you definitely Pisces could need to uh, have consume a bit more nutrition than you have been like your physical body needs more vitamins and minerals than you're giving it for it to um, function at peak efficiency so if that speaks to you maybe this week really be cautious and mindful of properly nourishing your body okay for others of you again that pregnancy thing that shift in lifestyle um, due to that um, but lastly this right here 
along with eat better, eating better is nourishment, right? Um, where do you need to better nourish yourself, Pisces? Is it physically? Is it emotionally? Is it mentally? Or is it spiritually? Somewhere, Spirit is saying you've got to better nourish yourself so you can be at peak efficiency and feel good and feel fully in control of yourself and your decisions and the way things are going. I don't know about you, like food really isn't um, a thing for me. Um, I definitely can get hangry, but um, it's sleep. If I do not get enough sleep, oh my gosh, I am so just not right. I'm not, I'm not. So that's what I feel with this. Whatever it is, is your thing. You've got to make sure you're getting enough of it so that you stay very balanced and even. All right. At, at least this week, it's very important that you're very balanced this week, especially as you come together to work with others and with the lovers there. Pisces, again, there may be some head and, and heart conflict about walking away from something to do something else or um, walking away from original plan and, and trying it this way or maybe walking away from some old people to work with some new people. You know, it, there's just something there and um, that's your advice. That's a, a big portion of this reading is what's coming out right there. So let go of and walk away from whatever you need to release so you can come into your destiny because you've been waiting for this Pisces in a in a sense um, you've felt it intuitively maybe in your subconscious it's starting to push itself forward so you're sensing it um, it's just whatever it is time the time is now people are watching people are noticing or Pisces, you are about to get very noticed and seen overall, maybe with whatever this is that you are working on. So let's pull some more cards, Pisces. All right, so we have Recharge. Yep, right there with that eat better. Yep, there's some part of you, Pisces, that needs to be nourished a little bit extra this week. And evaluation, not surprised to see that. And look at where that sits, right under that moving on. Pisces, you have to decide um, what, it, what you feel is best for you and how you want to go about doing it. However, there has to be some flexible room in there because of this whatever that represents for you that you must walk away from um, set aside change your mind about because again it's like kind of in your way whatever that is and man where you're headed or where spirits trying to take you trust me that's where you want to go that's where you want to be but it involves other people okay it really does it involves other people um, so that might also be the hesitation uh, that's in you. But ultimately, Pisces, um, it's a good thing. And I just feel you'll very much stand out. Um, if this is like family reunion, planning some big event uh, with family, friends, for birthday, wedding, baby shower, like whatever. Uh, again, I just, I don't feel like it's going to be some simple little party. Like you're really going to go above and beyond. And, um... It's going to be worth it. It's going to be very impressive, whatever this amounts to for you personally, Pisces. But again, it, it, it's part of your destiny, and this is exciting stuff, but you've got to decide to grab hold of it and go with it. So anyways, Pisces, those are your messages. I'm wishing you all the best. Take care.